Hey guys, welcome back, and time for a little bit of Kings of War content for a change. So these are the Lesser Obsidian Golems, uh, which are just being released uh, by Mantic uh, this month, but I've had some uh, sitting in my stash for about six, seven months now, because I got a set uh, with the Kickstarter. So I've been meaning to put them together for ages, but I've just never gone around to it. But I had a 40k tournament a few, well, it'll be a month or so ago now, where I needed uh, some models to use as Chaos Spawn or Demon Princes, uh, just in case one of my champions turned into one. So I whipped these guys up in one day, um, so it was some fast and furious painting. Um, basically, I just uh, undercoated them black and then did a couple of layers of. Uh, airbrushing, um, doing some xenophil highlights, just to get that sort of shading and stuff in. Uh, then I hit them all with a wash, uh, picked out the details, um, went in to try and do some some OSL effects in the cracks, um, which hasn't come out as neat as I would have liked, um, because my airbrush was being a little bit temperamental at the time. Um, and then I just used some Model Mates rust liquid uh, to apply the rust effects onto the uh, the metal areas so for the oh, I suppose I only spent about two hours or so on these guys and pretty happy with how they turned out uh, so they're on 40 mil bases at the moment they will be getting popped off those and switched back to their uh, regular Kings of War bases so if we take a little closer look at this boy here you see they do suffer a little bit from the uh, stumpy leg syndrome but the rock detail is really nicely done. Uh, there's plenty of stuff you can work on in terms of uh, bringing out uh, some of the meta work and stuff like that. And uh, you don't have to go for an OSL effect on there. You could do um, you could do them just as cracks or whatever. So the uh, drones on these guys are fairly nicely hidden by the shoulder pads and stuff like that. I think I did do a little bit of green stuff work on them, um, but only a very small amount. So that's the first guy. Um, and then the second two, they've got the same pose, uh, just slightly, slightly different on the leg posing, um, but the different heads means there's sort of enough variation in there. But uh, yeah, these are really cool models. Uh, in game terms, they work pretty well, uh, but modeling-wise, they're some of my favorites in the, in the Kings of War range, and it's really nice to see them uh, out for a general release. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.